Churchill Downs is once again host to racing fans here in Louisville for America's great turf classic, the Kentucky Derby. The day is sunny, the track is fast, and picking a winner is a popular pastime on Derby Day. The day when a gal can wear a different hat and the mint juleps flow like water. Betting on the big race tops the million and a half mark. Favorite is number one, native dancer, Alfred Gwynn Vanderbilt's unbeaten gray colt, seeking his 12th win. 100,000 onlookers, 11 starters, everything is in focus for Diamond Jim Moran. The 79th run for the Roses is just about set to go. A press on the button by starter Ruby White will send them off and running. And they're off. 11 three-year-olds out after fame and the winning share of the $118,000 purse. Number 10, Dark Star, comes fast on the outside to take the lead. Dark Star, winner of the Derby trial, is fifth choice of the betters at 25 to 1, but his star is rising today. The Kane Hoy stable entry holds his lead in the back stretch with the favorite native dancer back in the pack. Eddie Arcaro on correspondent seeking his sixth Derby win makes his bid on the final turn, but correspondent can't keep up the pace. Eric Gurren, up on Native Dancer, makes his move at the top of the stretch, overtaking correspondent number three and setting his sights on the front-running Dark Star. Is this the end of the victory trail for Native Dancer, or can he make up for lost time? Here's the finish in slow motion and a thriller. The dancer, under solid whipping for the first time in his career, closes the gap with every stride. And jockey Henry Moreno on Dark Star knows he's got a race on his hands. It's going to be close. It's a heartbreaker for Native Dancer. He gave it a try, but loses by a head to Dark Star. Leader all the way, paying his backers handsomely for their support. A $90,000 thoroughbred receives a well-deserved pat from his jockey. Dark Star was a blazing comet today.